Okay, I'm gonna try and make a video here of um, how to register your radio and um, also get the updates uh, from the Spectrum. Um, the first thing to do is to, when the radio boots up, it's gonna go into, first it'll do the Android, and then it's gonna boot up into the Airware. It's important to let the radio just boot up completely into the Spectrum Airware first. And once it's done that, uh, you can exit out of that screen and go back to the Android side and the updates and the registration uh, and the connecting it to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything like that is done on the Android side, not on the Airware side. So anyway, let me um, boot, screw away for a second. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Basically, starting it up, you hold a button. Let me see if I can get in closer here. You hold the button until the blue light does a change right there. And then you just leave it alone. <clears throat> Again, leave it alone. Let it just boot all the way up by itself. Now, this radio is already registered. It's already connected to my Wi-Fi. It's already, it may not have the Bluetooth turned on right now. Um, and you can kind of see those up there in that corner up there. Uh, you can see the Bluetooth actually on there as the Wi-Fi is turned on. This is the Android side, and this is probably like the home screen of the Android side. Let it be. It's not done booting up yet. <clears throat> okay, now it's booted up to the um, um, actual airware. So what you can do is just swipe up from the bottom and you will get these little things here at the bottom. You um, hit the square and you'll see that you have now multiple screens. So just click outside here and you'll go to this screen instead. Okay, so now you are in the Android side of it. And as an Android phone, anytime you wanna make changes to the phone, uh, you go into your settings, which is this thing right here. So if you can't find it there, go up here to this one here and scroll around until you see it. Oh, that was the wrong one. Let me close this. So again, we were in here. And here again, if you want to <clears throat> move any of these uh, things to your home screen, just hold it until you get those little like if they start shaking, doing the thing, and then you can drag it around and you'll see, you'll drag it around to different screens. I'll do it later. Um, anyway, we want to go to the settings, which I actually have on the outside page, but here's how to do it through that one there. And <clears throat> what you want to do there is you want to look for your Wi-Fi. So there's the Wi-Fi. So you click the Wi-Fi. You look for your Wi-Fi that you have. Um, let's just see. Let me just see if I can see another one. Let's say this one here. I don't have the password for that. You would enter in the password to that Wi-Fi and um, it will connect you onto that Wi-Fi, okay? And it'll take just a little bit of time. That's probably the first thing to do. Um, once you have your Wi-Fi established and you'll see up here in the corner, you see the little cone, cone-like, uh, like the second symbol from, from the left. Um, that is the Wi-Fi. The outside one, the very left one, that's the Bluetooth. And then of course the cylinder thing there or the square thing there that's the, your battery <clears throat> and then i think that's the local time that you have up there as well anyway this is my wi-fi um and i'll now get out of here so backup one and there's a bluetooth you can turn your bluetooth on um you can connect it to your phone um, which is actually pretty cool um that way you can also use uh headphones for, with it but we'll get into that later okay so let's get out of here so now it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, now you need to go to the Google Play, which that is the Google Play thing right there, that little arrow, a triangle thing. And again, if you can't find it here on your screen, now you might have multiple screens, okay? I only have two. Uh, if you can't find the, the icon here on this screen, again, go up to that one up there at the top, the one that has the, uh, the white with the six dots on it, okay? And you wanna find the uh, Google Play which um, is this one right here, the, okay? So you click on it. <clears throat> now, 
Let's see. Uh, go past folder. No, thank you. Um, you, if you don't have a Google account, um, you would need to then go to Google. I would recommend do that on a computer, uh, but you can also do it on here. Uh, create a Google account. Okay, just remember what you have, your username and your logon password is, so that you can enter it in. This one already sees me. You can see that it has my icon up there. And then um, when you get into it, when you're logged into it, uh, you will then do search and you will type in IX20. And to get to the numbers, it's here, two, zero. Okay, and just hit. Oh, uh, enter. Where the hell is that enter at? God, it's been so long. Oh, right here, search button. Okay. And you will see a whole bunch of spectrum updates. Okay. Now, <clears throat> be wary here. Um, you can see the second one says for the IX12. You don't want to do that. And actually, the this thing has the latest update. So it's going to say this is the spectrum airware for the IX20. Um, and it's going to show installed. And by the way, for those of you who have, who have the IX20 SE, I believe the IX20 update is the very same update um spectrum dashboard is something for cars i believe uh the spectrum ix3 programmer I'm not quite sure i haven't messed with that but the one you want is the ix20 airware so you click on it and basically it's gonna say you know do i want it? this one already knows that i have it uh, activated so it's going to ask me do i want to open it but over here on this side, over here, if you don't have it yet, you would it would say install or download. And you would click it and let it do its thing. And when it installs it, it's going to uh, ask you to let it reboot. And let it reboot, let it do its thing. Don't try and turn it off and on by yourself. It will do its own thing. Uh, and when finally you have it installed, uh, you may come back to this page. Okay. Um, and if you do, uh, don't worry about it. Um, you're looking for the SPM airware. Um, you can see here, I have actually two of them on my screen. Um, I accidentally copied from over here and dragged it onto my front screen twice. It doesn't matter, it links to the same program. Um, so you just click it and let it start up. That's the basic, how you update the radio and you will, that should, Hopefully that will solve your problem.